if the discussions are often coming up with uh, with OBs in those situations, the termination is at least mm -hmm. a, something to contemplate. And if 95 percent of the mm -hmm. of the pregnancies are terminated after finding out, what was y'all's initial reaction? How did y'all? Uh, I mean, what were those discussions like? Uh, we expected it, but you never really are prepared for it. Right. Um, Abortion for us was not an option. We knew we were going to go through with the pregnancy anyway. It, we just wanted to be better prepared if we did find out we had a child with Down syndrome. The medical uh, community, our OBGYN, leaned more towards the side of termination. Mm. So it took my husband and I really um, going out and finding information and learning what we were about to deal with or possibly could deal with. We did go to MUSC and see a geneticist. She was really helpful. Um, right. Gave us the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. Of course, she couldn't sway us either way. Mm -hmm. um, we also had a level two ultrasound at MUSC, and when you realize that that's a baby, you know, and, and right. that really helped our decision. Um, to there was no question in our minds we were going to go through with this. We, I'm sure viewers would want to know: Did you change OBs? How did that interaction I did happen OBs, uh, yeah. afterwards? I, did. I mean, what uh, I did. do you? Did, did folks search for an OB that would be more supportive of the decision to carry a child to term? I feel like that, you know, yeah, if you're delivering babies, that maybe, you know, you should be open-minded. Right. Um, I did switch OBs after Avery Grace was born, uh -huh. um, just for my own personal reasons. <laughs> right, and I know that's very yeah. personal. No, I'm absolutely. sorry. It's just for a, my own I'm sure a lot of viewers would want to think, what, sure. uh, how do you interface? Sure. Uh, and then I'm sure there must be uh, parents that, that do not change. and. Uh, have those issues wondering in their minds, right. is this doctor going to be on board? Right. I mean, you know, the, and the, the, clearly there's some amazing OBGYN or Absolutely. OBs in the area. Absolutely. We're very thankful they continue to do on a Absolutely. daily basis what they do. And probably some of them would want to find ways to support the GSDSS uh, group Absolutely. and, and yeah. visiting your website. Right. Do you all accept donations locally? We definitely do. We Good. accept donations. Uh, we have a program going right now, Think About Inc. We are accepting a uh, used uh, ink cartridges, computer printer cartridges, Good. Um, and we get a percentage of what we uh, turn in for recycling. Okay. We also have a golf tournament um, planned for August the 18th. Um, prior to that, August the 17th, we are sponsoring a dance, and we will have uh, at 7 p.m. at um, in Pauly's Island. Okay. And we will be having Chris Burke, the actor from Life Goes On, mm. will be there and he will have his band will play for us great and the golf tournament Chris will also play at the golf tournament um, our website has tickets uh, times and if you want to be a sponsor all that information is on our website and there it also provides an information where folks could drop off those printer cartridges absolutely yes. good good yes. you said August 17th mm -hmm. for the, for the uh, dance for the dance itself at 7 okay. um, for the um, golf tournament. It is August the 18th at Caledonia. Great. Mm -hmm. Nice course. And we're looking yeah. for sponsors. And oh, good. Okay. So there's some day. sponsorship opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely. And our website gives the information about if you'd like to be a sponsor. Good. Okay. Absolutely. That's it. And uh, International Paper and uh, Outback Steakhouse are sponsoring the event. Okay. So they've been wonderful. And some of the ways you all have funded the activities up to now, mm -hmm. Tammy, what are some of the ways? Is it Have you had another golf tournament in the past? Is that No, this is our first. This first. will be our first annual. Um, we've also done uh, sold T-shirts. Um, right. Chick-fil-A has been wonderful. They donate a lot of to our organization, food, their time. They've allowed us to have a, a day, a Down Syndrome Day, mm. where we've set aside a certain day where the customers who come in and purchase food, a certain percent certain percent goes to our organization. Okay. So we've gotten a lot of wonderful support in the area. Local restaurants just have really been incredible to us. That's supporting tremendous. Our cause. Absolutely. That is tremendous. And if a viewer uh, couldn't, it wasn't going to be in town on August 17th or 18th but still wanted to support, they can go online to www.gsdss.net to see, get a mailing address as Absolutely. well as to call that 267-2581 mm -hmm. number. That's great. Who are some of the other folks involved on your volunteer board? And I assume it's all volunteers, and are you all a 501c3? We are. We are. Good. Diane Grover is our president. Okay. Uh, her and Courtney Fields is our vice president. They basically got the organization going, mm -hmm. um, have worked very, very hard to get this going. They're both incredible women. Um, mm -hmm. Diane has a daughter, Mary Ellen, with Down syndrome. 
Okay. And Courtney has a son, Kobe, with Down syndrome as well. And what are their ages? Do you know? Uh, Mary Ellen, I believe, is a little over a year and a half, okay. reaching close to two. Right. I believe she may actually be two. Kobe, I believe, is close to the same age. Okay. Right. Yeah. So the, the three of you are all active, mm -hmm. in, and I know there's a lot of other volunteers right. and leaders, Hughes, but, right. but all uh, with children around the Absolutely. same age. Yes. Right. Sharon's child is a little, Sharon is our treasurer, and her, right. I believe her daughter is a little old. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's important to uh, for parents who have Absolutely. children that are a little older, Absolutely. boys and girls, to be able to yeah. interface and uh, gauge some of the things. What are some of the important things that you'd want viewers to know about Down syndrome, about children with Down syndrome, and about parents that, uh, that are faced with the recognition that their child will be born with Down syndrome? I think it would be that these children are children. They're, there are children first, and the Down syndrome is just a side um, bar, that these are our kids. They, they interact the same way. Um, they develop, you know, just at different rates like all children do. They have talents. They have likes. They have dislikes that it's, it's a, an incredible experience that I would never change for anything and I wouldn't give 100, you know, normal children from, for Avery. Mm. I just would never, it's been an, an incredible, incredible experience. We've learned more, my husband and I have probably learned more from her mm. than she's probably going to ever learn from us in a lifetime. <laughs> she's just amazing. That's great. And we by far need her much more than she needs us. She's just brought so much to our family and our kids. That's tremendous. It's, it's That's teaching tremendous. our children, you know, compassion mm -hmm. and patience and, you know, and understanding. So it's been wonderful. We've got a, we've got a couple of minutes, Tammy, and that opens mm -hmm. the door to just what are some of the myths that, that folks face or they, they hear about or some of the things that they, they may be told, mm -hmm. not necessarily by medical professionals, mm -hmm. obviously, but just told uh, about uh, some of the myths that they uh, hear about that possibly cause that 95% mm -hmm. of parents um, to think about terminating the pregnancy. What are some of the things they're, they're being told? I think parents are told or have beliefs uh, um, that the child won't live very long, um, if the child's born with heart defects, um, the baby won't make it, um, which is a total myth. Um, I believe that all of the heart defects at this point with children with Down syndrome are repairable mm -hmm. and, and are repaired. Um, and these children go on to live very long and healthy lives. Mm -hmm. um, I believe people feel have learned over the years that these children are not, cannot learn. Um, they'll be institutionalized their whole life. Um, they will never be productive citizens. They'll never work. They'll never live alone. And that's not true. Um, mm -hmm. Many, many ch children grow into very productive adults with jobs, with sometimes uh, spouses um, mm -hmm. of their own. They get married mm -hmm. and they live very productive, healthy lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, and those are, those are big myths. But that, that simple, the fact of that extra chromosome, that's a powerful thing for folks who may not understand Absolutely. medicine or, or how, uh, how births occur mm -hmm. normally. That one extra, and trying to figure out how that happens. I, I guess that is something. Is there research being done on a regular basis there to is. try to get to the bottom of that? And is Down syndrome more prevalent than it was, let's say, 10 years ago or 20 years ago or less prevalent? Is something being done? Uh, there is no cure, obviously. I think they can find um, what happens, you know, why maybe um, it happens. Um, I really don't know. I, I think that it's the Down syndrome is out there more. Uh -huh. um, the education's out there more. The outcomes, the statistics are out there more. So I think it's been, because it's been brought more out to light that, right. you know, people are more aware. But I would probably have to say, in guessing it's still the same rate, it's just people are becoming more aware of it and dealing with it in a much different way than they did in the past. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think uh, visiting, there was a national website, mm -hmm. ndsecenter.org, mm -hmm. which I guess the National Down Syndrome right. Congress, their center talked about possibly even a, a, a slight reduction. I didn't mm -hmm. mean to put you on the spot no, asking okay. that, but some of the, uh, so clearly the getting the word out, and it may be that just the, uh, in w whatever levels, uh, mm -hmm. research and dollars that can be utilized to fund not only support groups like y'all's, but also uh, any national research mm -hmm. that can be going on. There's surely, and I'm sure some links to them from y'all's website, yes. um, which is great, mm -hmm. which is great. So surely that aspect of making sure that parents know there are lots of myths. There are clearly realities as well. Absolutely. 
and a lot of parents have to go through those. Absolutely. Uh, you just have to weigh all your options. You just have to look at both sides. That's great. Pros and cons, yeah. Tammy, thanks so much for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. Stay tuned to more Carolina people with Tammy Harrell from the Grand Strand Down St. Thomas Society. Coming up. Baby. We need her in our life far more than she'll ever need us. It's no parent talking about their child. We need her in our life far more than she'll ever need us. Those are powerful words. You never know what a parent's thinking. You obviously, as, as Tammy shared with us, don't know what a parent, a husband, and a wife, or a mother and a father of a child, uh, whether it's at 20 weeks or 16 weeks or 24 weeks, are thinking when they're sitting with a medical professional or someone else talking to them about their child and the, the recognition their child will be born with Down syndrome. It's a, it's a big deal. Think about that in a room, sitting there, white walls, and listening to someone, words coming out of their mouth as they're sharing with you that your child will be born with Down syndrome. What are you thinking? What are you going through? A lot of parents are clearly thinking and think that through and unfortunately make the decision. We heard Tammy share about that 95% of, of expectant mothers will terminate that child. They've heard the myth that Tammy was sharing, the child won't be able to learn, clearly a myth. They'll never be a productive citizen, clearly a myth. They'll live a short life, clearly a myth. Take the time to learn more about Down syndrome. Go online to gsdss.net, that's www.gsdss.net, or take the time to pick up the phone, write this phone number down. The area code simple, 843. 267-2581, 267-2581. There's a lot of myths about children with Down syndrome. You hear a loving mother, a loving parent say those words, 